Sorry kids, Rudolph won't be making it this year. He's been canned up. And if that's not cool enough, check out this. Beer meat and beer pate. I'm tempted to try it. Actually, I want to take it home, but I have a feeling that uh, customs will take it off me, so... Silly customs. Alright, so it's my last day here in Helsinki. Uh, about to fly north to Oulu, which is about an hour flight north. Heading up towards the North Pole to find Santa Claus. That's what I'm telling people anyway. Um, so, it's been a great trip, but I thought I'd uh, quickly come down into the city and check out the local markets here. Like if you ever come to Helsinki, stay in one of the Scandic hotels. Uh, the included breakfast is insane, like <laughs> insane. There's so much food, but it's, it's really good stuff as well. Um, but yeah, just go check out these markets and um, enjoy the last hour or two in, in the city. So I thought the beer pate, canned beer pate was pretty cool, but check this out. Reindeer hide, I've got to get one of these. So I ended up buying a reindeer hide. I just really hope that I can get it into customs. Fingers crossed. Landed in Oulu in Finland, which is an hour flight north of Helsinki. Got invited up to the Aura Ring office, which is here in Oulu, so thought I'd come up and spend Sunday night here and then uh, get into the office on the Monday um, and do some interviews with them, like podcasts and stuff, YouTube about the new ring, so that'll be exciting and um, yeah. here in the morning and I am about to do my return leg to New Zealand uh, 44 flights I think it's about 40 hours of traveling um, it's gonna be a long day so I just pulled up my flight stats here this is this is kind of crazy I get in midday on Thursday just under 48 hours of traveling it's gonna be a big trip but it's been really fun here had an amazing time in Finland yeah hopefully you guys have enjoyed some of the insights into Finland, Helsinki. I am going to go get ready for this flight. And um, yeah. Hey okay, guys, so we're here with uh, Qatar Airways on my flight to uh, Doha, Qatar. We're four hours into this flight. I just woke up, had a, had a bit of a nap. Good to lie on that, so it was good. Got a cold sore. Joys of uh, traveling and not enough sleep. You know, this is my little business class booth. I'm gonna do like a full review of the business class flight, so I'll make sure I publish that on YouTube. Uh, it's nice. <laughs> It's very nice to be honest. I wouldn't have done this trip without business class. And then of course it is the uh the food and alcohol. Sweet, so I'm here in Doha, in their very cool airport. Uh, so I can go up to the lounge, uh, get access to the lounge here. It's a flew business class and it's a really nice lounge, like it's incredible. There's like three or four different cafe restaurants and so much going on up there, showers and everything. But uh, since I got so much time, I thought I would wander around, check out a few little shops. So I just booked in at the Vitality Spa here in Doha, in the airport. Gonna get a 
put my thoughts at the gym and then have a spa. Should be good. Good way to kill eight or nine hours. Alright guys, the uh, foot massage is done. It was good. Nice and relaxing. Probably too relaxing actually. Now I'm just gonna go get my uh, gym session in. Check this out. You gotta check this gym out. Not too bad for an airport gym, huh? It's like better than it's better than any hotel gym I've seen, and it's better than some uh, 24 hour little gyms I've seen. Can you see why it's so exciting? And there's no one here, no one. But that's not all, check this out. Squash court. Full squash court, but not just one. There's two of them. Like what the hell? This is at an airport. I've actually been here about four times now. Um, and I've never seen anyone in the gym or in the squash courts. It's crazy. So maybe push ball supersets to make it a bit more time efficient. Uh, a chest press with a row. So horizontal push pull, a vertical push pull, some lower body. Um, and what I might do is like work the weight up. Just start with like a set of 15s and maybe all the way down to a set of six. And then on that last one, I'll just do a massive drop set. Uh, and if I'm feeling really good at the end of it, I may even do some sprints on the bike or the rower. Let's go lift some weights. All right, that's the uh, horizontal push pull. That was hard. I should practice what I preach and say, you know, wrap it up now, but all I'm gonna do is put a bit of load through the back, shoulders from the vertical plane, and then one or two lower body exercises just to get a bit of load on the, mu on the muscle, on the joint. Again, my aura ring score has been pathetic, so generally I wouldn't, wouldn't even bother training on it with the numbers I'm seeing. You know, so many people would get off the plane 24 hours later, go back to the usual gym routine. And yeah, even me with all my biohacks and supplements and everything. Body's just like, yeah, we're not up for this. So anyway, I'm not gonna video the next one because the machines are opposite ends of this gym and it'll just look, you'll just see me walking back and forth. So um, then I'll, I'll video the leg to a leg exercises at the end. But again, nothing special here. Just super sets, push into failure, one or two sets, and then wrapping it up. All right. That's a wrap. I'm toast. That was really tough. So I'm not gonna do arms because who really cares about arms anyway? And it's not really enjoyable when you feel like that as well. Like, I train for fun, you know? Uh, I mean, there's the health component as well, but it's hard to do something you don't enjoy. I know I mentioned I'd finished with like a cardio workout or some sprints. I haven't done them in a long time. I decided not. Nah, body's not up to it. But then I felt bad because I did say I would. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see if I can swim the length of this. I'm not the best swimmer. Like seriously. But it's only 1.2 meters deep, so I figured I'm safe. If I get to the end and survive, I'll catch my breath and try to come back. And that can be my sprint workout. Two lengths. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go eat and relax. Sweet, so had a massage, had a workout, had a swim, uh, had a spa, had a shower, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty refreshed now. I've still got another five hours, I think, until my flight leaves. So I'm um, gonna go get some Middle Eastern food, which I love, and uh, just chill for a little bit before I get into work. So let's go, let's go to the lounge. Check this out. I could do that one. 
so much good food yet. It's insane. Maybe I should have swam a few more lengths. So I'm home. Well, not quite home, but back in New Zealand. Just landed after the uh, 17 odd hour flight from Doha. It was pretty good actually. Um, I got a good eight hours sleep, I think. Looking forward to uh, checking my aura ring data because it felt pretty good, but the airplane sleeps aren't the best. The sun's just coming up here, it's like 5.30 in the morning. Here in Auckland. So I now have a four, four and a half, five hour wait, and then another hour long flight home. It's been a big trip, big trip. But I think I'm gonna sit out here and wait for the sun to come up and get some morning sun. Help reset that circadian rhythm, do some barefoot grounding, use the human charger, and uh, try to get my body clock back in sync. Oh, and good news, I got my reindeer skin in. No issues at all. So maybe I should have got some of the reindeer meat as well. <laughs> I'm in the uh, beer fat there. Anyway, we didn't know. Alright, so the sun's been up. It's been about half an hour, or 20 minutes at least, getting that sun in my eyes. I also was uh, doing a bit of grounding, had the shoes off, sitting there in the grass. And it was quite nice. And then this lady came over and started smoking right next to me. So that kind of ruined it. <laughs> So I had to ship out, and since I haven't seen much sun in the past week or two, might as well try and maximize it, huh? So after 40 hours of traveling, four flights, too many time zones, I'm back in Taranaki, New Zealand. Yay, I'm pretty exhausted though. Uh, just waiting for Rebecca now to pick me up and then I'll go home. But it was a really good trip. Really, really good trip. Met a lot of awesome people. Finland's an amazing place. But yeah, remember to leave feedback and comments. Uh, and so I can know, uh, I know what people enjoy and what you don't enjoy. And then also make sure you check out my YouTube blog, YouTube channel, uh, Alex Vegas Coach or AlexVegas.com, I think it is. Um, because I share. This is just a summary video that you guys are seeing each week. I actually do a lot more in depth, detailed videos that I post exclusively on the YouTube channel. They're kind of like more raw, unedited videos. So, um, you know, I know there was a lot of material, probably a couple of hours worth of videos on this trip, um, but only what 10 minutes is going to make it into the weekly vlog. So, leave your comments and feedback below. Hey, so I'm back home now, settled in, caught up on some sleep, and um, just thought I'd do a really quick garden update, because a lot's happened since I've been away. Rebecca's been watering the garden, so that's, that's good. Uh, what do we got here? We got a lot of weeds, <laughs> but um, tomatoes are coming up really nice. Uh, potatoes in here are skyrocketing, that's, that's awesome. Some of the brassicas are coming up, but they're getting attacked here by uh, caterpillars, so I've got to... Yeah, look at all those bloody bloody things. So I'm gonna have to come out and, and clear off some of these later. Potatoes over here are yeah, huge as well. I mean, I really need some more soil to, to get a bit more uh, potatoes growing in there. So Rebecca had her first, first few zucchinis while I was away. I was a bit disappointed I couldn't uh, get them myself, but we had some more last night. And there's already two or three other ones on there, so getting to that point now where the zucchinis just start. Uh, coming out in abundance, pumpkins starting to grow, corn coming out, another tomato plant there, I need to stake that. <clears throat> uh, basil over here, it's come along really well, uh, some capsicum growing there, this is the, the lager, which was my experiment, so that's behind a bit, and then tomatoes again, need to stake this, I've got some basil under there, there's like two or three tomato plants there, I probably put too many in. And then some more tomatoes here. So, um, lots of growth. Lots of growth. So it's good. Uh, finally get to get some zucchini so I don't have to buy them anymore. And um, once those tomatoes start coming out, 
Gonna be, have to start making relishes and ketchups, I think, because we're gonna have a lot of tomatoes and potatoes. Yeah, that was my quick little garden update.